do we want to chat a little bit about COP28, which amazingly is being hosted in Dubai. COP is the Conference of Parties, which uh, was built out of the Kyoto Protocol. That was it. The, I was going to say the Kyoto Principle. So the Kyoto Protocol was the kind of first legally binding kind of climate agreement between lots of different countries. It has since been sort of, I don't know whether surpassed is the right word, or solidified or updated with the Paris Agreement of 2015, I think. Uh, and both of these are international agreements which push the signatory countries, which are most of the countries of the UN, I believe, to... I think the Paris Agreement uh, aims to keep global warming beneath 2%, but also aspires to push it behind um, lower than 1.5%, which it has uh, not done. It's been a terrible disaster, actually. So there's a book, which I have down here. I'm going to grab it. So this is a book that I... Uh, have been reading on and off for a little while. I think it works quite well as a reference book, maybe more than as a reading book because it's big and you can't take it to places, really. It is a substantial tome. Um, this is the climate book, which gets credited as being created by Greta Thunberg. I think she did some editing on it. But basically it has loads of different chapters uh, written by different experts on different climate topics there's a chapter sorry on microplastics there's a chapter on fresh water so it ranges from um like sciencey stuff like the science of climate change to stuff that is very much the politics of climate change but there is a line that i want to find from it okay so since the founding of the ipcc in 1988 um, which is the international panel on climate change which some of you will know because it releases three reports every year i want to say uh there's basically they do three reports each time they do a report and it's i've seen them described as the first one being why we're fucked the second one being how fucked are we and the third one being how can we unfuck it but the quote from the book that I was trying to find says, Since the founding of the IPCC in 1988, our emissions of CO2 have more than doubled. One third of all anthropogenic CO2 emissions have been emitted since 2005. So COP is meant to be the kind of regular annual meeting in which um, so it's called the Conference of Parties. So the parties, as in the people that signed, both countries, but also companies, because COP also hosts a considerable amount of corporate representatives as well, come together and they like update their agreements on how much they're going to emit, like carbon they're going to emit, what they're going to cut down on, etc., and it's become increasingly controversial. Dubai is like the capital of a petro state, essentially. Like it makes 3.2 million barrels of petroleum and liquids per day, the UAE. So in 2009, more than 85% of the UAE's economy was based on oil exports. That is old data. Let's like... Let's bear in mind that that is incredibly old data. Yeah, as we'll get to in a moment, the president of this conference has suggested that climate change might not be real, which isn't ideal. Let us choose life. Let us choose uh, the future. <laughs> the train spotting speech. The Pope's just rewritten the train spotting speech for his COP28 speech. Like the good, the big question with all of this stuff is how right because there was a report quite recently about how basically every carbon offsetting scheme that's ever existed has been 
uh, useless and hasn't worked. More than 90% of rainforest carbon offsets by biggest certifier are worthless, analysis shows. It won't solve climate change, but it's better than nothing. That c so that should, that should be like the COP slogan. Better than nothing. Tomorrow, the it's a massive event. I'm not sure this is quite getting across the scale of how big it is. I was reading earlier that there's like nearing 30,000 attendees of COP these days. So in itself, it is a big carbon emitter um, because obviously everyone is having to realistically fly to Dubai. In fact, I think... Rishi Sunak, David Cameron, and King Charles all took separate private jets to COP28. Couldn't even club together Climate Justin King Ryan. Charles, yeah. This is, this is a cool... We'll give them that. This looks fun. Like a kind of... Weird ball of wool. My mum would knit a jumper out of that. This means that... Uh, yeah, it does have the, the same vibes as when... Qatar had the World Cup, the Football World Cup. Um, although, like, even more hypocritical given that this just is a country funded entirely by oil. So here is the big controversy of the conference, is that the head of COP28 has said that there is no science to suggest that um, the only way that we can get down to 1.5 degrees is by stopping using fossil fuels. Matt saying that he's the head of an oil company himself it's not an ideal place for cop the cop event to be is it that the folks hosting it don't think that you have to stop using oil actually it's not it's not ideal in, in the end they're only cheating themselves tom clark sky news dubai i think the important point though is that oil countries and richer countries aren't cheating themselves well they are to some extent but we know that the worst effect of climate change will affect the countries that have least contributed to it and there is no science uh, out there or no scenario out there that says that the phase out of fossil fuel is what's going to achieve 1.5 1.5 is my north star and a face down wow and a face like it very much oh, like surely this is the last nail in the coffin for cop i honestly what he needs to do is a youtuber apology video with um a ukulele so yeah no there has been calls for it to sort of be abandoned here we go so this is by bobby Banerjee. let's read the case for something alternative before we close up for the evening COP represents a gathering of elites. A recent study found that this was a major obstacle to climate mitigation. It's time to end this spectacle of private jets flying in dignitaries and delegates to discuss the climate emergency. There is no accountability in COP, only a diffusion of irresponsibility that legitimizes corporate power.